The Grid Edge Summit kicked off this morning. This is Siemens Smart Infrastructure's virtual event running this entire week. We had the opening sessions, followed by a panel discussion, and then the press conference. So in about two minutes, what were my key takeaways? Well, three key topics. One was digitalization. Second was on infrastructure required for large-scale electric um, charging. And third one was a quick one on technologies. In the opening panel discussion, everybody called out how the pace of digitalization has accelerated because of the, the, the crisis. And that acceleration is going to continue. And it's not that we need a lot of new technologies, it's just about using the technologies we have, but deploying them at a rapid pace. And it was uh, Dr. Carsten Rilberger from Eon called out, you know, it's not that we need 10x new technologies all the time, we just need 10x the pace of deployment. It's about using the stuff we have and deploying it now. Second one was around the requirements for large scale transportation electrification. Cedric called out, you know, they announced today electrification of buses in Leipzig. Uh, they showed in the press conference, I think, uh, powering a cruise liner in a port in Germany, you know, one massive power plug. But he called out that many companies and cities and sometimes utilities, they're underestimating the requirements needed to, if somebody just buys 10 electric buses and brings them home to the depot and plugs them in at night, it's not just plug in a plug. You have to look at the, the, the entire infrastructure. Now it's dependent on the infrastructure where you are. But at the same time, that's where energy, local energy storage comes in to offset putting in more copper into the, the grid. But you have to watch for it. And the third one on technologies. Now, Cedric did call out blockchain. Uh, that was their Pebbles project that's going on in Germany. But one interesting one, he called out quantum computing. And the reason being, as more and more data is collected from the grid edge, more and more electric vehicles, more and more smart buildings, more and more everything, everything's going to be gathering data. How do you process all that data? So they're looking at quantum computing. That's interesting. Anyway, that's a very short snippet of my takeaways from day one. So join us for the rest of the week. 